Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how you can convert any HTML template into React code. To start the steps, uh, you have to first select any uh, HTML template. You can choose any free template or any paid template that you want to convert. I have used uh, this template from freecss.com uh, site and you can download it from here. After download, you will uh, get the template like this and it is a one page template and uh, that is running from my local tag. Okay, now I will convert this template into a React project. Uh, the first step is to download your template. Second step is to create a React app. How to install React or create an app? You can get it from here. Uh, if you are new in React.js, then you can install it by following this step. Okay. Now go for. I have already uh, created this app, and it is a fresh React app, and uh, I stored it in uh, stdocs folder because I will uh, convert it. Uh, this project in a, into a dynamic project in my next tutorial. You can store this folder anywhere in your drive. Okay. Now uh, go for step three: copy all folder for HTML template folder and paste the public folder of the app folder. And uh, this is my free template folder, and so I will copy all this folder. and paste inside the public folder of your React app. Okay, now go for step 4. Create a folder named pages under source folder of React app. So go to React app, source src folder, sorry, src folder and here create a folder and give the name pages. Okay, and uh, now uh, you have to create a necessary JS file depends on the HTML base and then what I will store in this uh, folder. Uh, it is shown in the next step and step 5. Open index.html file from HTML template. So go to the HTML template lens paper and there is only one file and open it to any editor i'm using sublime here okay and now copy the content of head section this is the head section so i will copy this part and this is the intake of the head section just copy this and uh, paste the content inside the head tag of index.html under public folder of React app. So go to your React app project and uh, public folder and there is index file. So open it in then uh, it is a sublime editor and this is the head section. You can add, it, uh, add the code after the title tag. And if any content is duplicate, you can remove this. And the many parts are uh, duplicates. So I will remove this section. And these are the link for your necessary image file, CSS file, and the JS file. Okay. Save the file. And uh, now go to step 6. Create a file name home.js under src pages folder. Okay. So go to your project folder sources and this is the page that is blank now. So I will create the file here and keep the file name home.js. Okay. And the file content is uh, given here. 
so it will be your index file and uh, the content of your template will be uh, added in this section okay now uh, it is blank there is only two divs and these are blank divs there is no content here okay now go for step 7 copy the container body tag of your template file so again go to index.html of your template and this is the body tag and just copy this section go to main and if there is any script file just omit this part so I am uh, omitting this part and just copying this part copy and uh, paste where to paste uh, at this script below and got the inside the div tag of return of home.js this is home.js and this is the return other than is the div tag so i will add the code inside this div okay save the file and uh, and there is another thing in the template where this script link so you have to add this in the index.html of public folder so copy the link files and go to the public folder and index.html and under the body tag add this lines uh, okay now save the file now go to step 8 replace all hrbr emails and input tag and another thing that is not mentioned here if there is any commenting line of HTML, you also have to remove those lines from the in a home.js file. So, first of all, I will remove all the comments first. Mm, and comments is there mm, because it will generate an error. So, just remove the comments. HTML comments. Just remove the comments, not other groups. Okay, if any comments remain, then it will generate error, and then you can also remove those lines. Then, okay, I'm checking. Is there any comments line? Okay, now uh, you have to search is there any horizontal line in the code so I will uh, replace this HR ok there are many HR here replace this by HR slash ending tag replace all ok now ok now I will search all the tag and replace replace it by beer slash so beer tag and replace it by beer slash otherwise the code will not work okay hr and beer replace now search for ems tag G. Okay, uh, you have to search this uh, manually because how many images are there? It is not known before. So just go to the tag position and add the H. Sorry, in slash. Okay, all in the are highlighted here. Okay. Next, search for input tag. Mm. 
do for him to check and uh, what we can do here. We just add the little slash and uh, also add the slash here. <coughs> Save the file. <coughs> okay. If any tag is missing, then it will uh, generate error and then you can also correct that. Okay, now go for step 9. Open the app.js file from src folder. This is the app.js file and uh, there is a uh, there are content before. So I will replace all the content uh, of app.js file uh, by using the code of step 9. So copy the code of step 9 and replace this code by this. Okay. Here <coughs> it will uh, import the home.js that is created before and uh, it will show the content of home.js. Now you can uh, run your JS app to see if there is an error or working properly. So from here I will run cmd from the app location and to run in pm start. Okay, one error is showing here on line 15 one comment is Remain. I have told you before if any command line is demo command line remaining on your code, then it will generate error. So go to line 15 and just remove these comments. Again, check now your project is ready and uh, the template is working from your React app. It is a static template, so in the next tutorial, I will show you how you can make this for dynamic using PHP and MySQL. Hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for watching.